Level up your nightmare dungeon farming to get faster experience points, collect a huge amount of unique and legendary items, and boost your damage output through paragon points and the leveling of rare glyphs. By using these tips and tricks, you'll speed up your progression in Diablo 4, achieving greater efficiency and making the most of your gaming time. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about Nightmare Dungeons, how Nightmare Dungeons work, why you should do them, which Nightmare Dungeons are the best to farm, and tips on how to clear Nightmare Dungeons more efficiently. To get into Nightmare Dungeons, you'll first need to get to 50, clear the Capstone Dungeon, and transition into World Tier 3. I recommend getting your first Nightmare Sigil from opening Whisper Caches. Using a Nightmare Sigil in the Consumables tab will transform a normal dungeon into a Nightmare Dungeon. Mob level is determined by a combination of the Sigil tier and your current World Tier plus 50. Nightmare Sigils have positive and negative affixes that are worth paying attention to. Nightmare Dungeons are essential for any Diablo 4 player because currently it is the best way to farm gear, experience points, and the only way to level glyphs. Nightmare Dungeons have the highest mob density in the game, and the least amount of distance between groups of enemies making it the perfect way to farm anything. The ending screen also gives four bonus equipment drops, two of which are likely to be legendary. Nightmare Dungeons are also the only way to level up your rare glyphs for that extra damage. Not all Nightmare Dungeons are created equal. Some dungeons have poorly designed tile sets and objectives, leading to running into dead ends and doubling back more often than other Nightmare Dungeons, ending up with the lower experience points per hour. The best Nightmare Dungeons for efficiency are going to have the highest mob density, the least amount of traveling between groups of enemies, and the simplest dungeon objectives. Let's go over which Nightmare Dungeons are the best, and why. Starting with Seret's Lair. This Nightmare Dungeon has zero downside. Not only is it dense, but you're also going up against spider-type enemies. When you kill spider enemies, they blow up into even more spiders, making this dungeon one of the best XP per hour farms in the game. Seret's Lair is also one of the few dungeons to end with a boss that is centered somewhere on the map. After completing all of the objectives, just run to the larger sized room to finish off this Nightmare Dungeon. Boulder's Cave is recommended by most players for a reason. You will be ambushed by mobs and elites non-stop in this Nightmare Dungeon. Think of it as a free group of elites and mobs without the need to run to them. The different layouts are usually straightforward and easy to navigate, meaning less frustration versus some of the bottom tier maps. Boulder's Cave is hands down the best place to farm elites. Mariner's Refuge is another Nightmare Dungeon where the boss resides in a potentially centralized portion of the map, making it impossible to double back to find the boss. Mariner's Refuge has two simple objectives. The first objective is to destroy three structures located around the edges of the map, and the second objective is just to defeat the boss. Of course, mob density is great, but the thing that makes Mariner's Refuge shine is the circular map. Run one lap around the map, and by the time you finish the lap, you'll also be running back to the boss. Dead Man's Judge, ever since the beginning of the game, has been a fan favorite for leveling. The first portion, collecting the Animus from Elise, will always involve some form of doubling back, but the last objective, saving the prisoners, won't. Hug the wall all the way around, saving every prisoner, and an Elite will spawn on top of you, which will finish off the dungeon. Immortal Emanation has both an incredibly easy layout, easy objectives, and loads of enemies. The first objective will be to destroy four structures in a circle, all of which spawn Elites, by the way, and ends in a boss fight. I would have to say this is probably one of the fastest dungeons to clear in the game, making it the perfect nightmare dungeon for glyph leveling. My only problem with Immortal Emanation is spirit type enemies and vampire type enemies. These are my least favorite to go up against. Other honorable mentions for great nightmare dungeons are Mercy's Reach, Comdor Temple, Charnel House, Nostrava Deepwood, Pallid Delve, and Tomb of the Saints. Here are my top tips for any players that are looking to maximize their experience while grinding Nightmare Dungeons. My number one tip for you is to take advantage of the Occultist Salvage and Crafting System for Nightmare Sigils. First, make sure to pick up every Nightmare Sigil you find, even for low tier dungeons. Next, salvage every Nightmare Sigil with either a bad dungeon or a bad affix. Craft more Nightmare Sigils and repeat the process until you run out of powder. Now you should have a generous amount of sigils to spam until you run out. For my next tip, avoid menus at all costs. If your goal is to level as fast as you can, every time you open your inventory or feel the need to hang out in town and talk to the NPCs, you're losing valuable time. I avoid NPCs and menus by being extremely selective in what I pick up during a dungeon. If I'm leveling but I need a certain legendary aspect, I'll choose to only pick up legendary drops and nothing else. Tip number three is all about speeding up your clear times. An ideal clear speed for nightmare dungeons is between three and five minutes. If you're 
clear times are higher than 5 minutes, you have some troubleshooting to do. If your sigil tier is too high, consider running a lower tier. Faster clears will always result in better XP per hour. Movement speed is really powerful for faster Nightmare Dungeon clears. Try to always have move speed on your feet and amulet. There are even legendary aspects that can greatly increase your movement speed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, good luck, and have fun.